What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Polly's Auto. I gotta make this quick. I made this video for Keith at New Level Auto and also for um, Pat at Voltage Drop Diagnostics. So this goes out to you. Keith, I told you I'd get an amperage um, on that coil on this Camry. The customer decided, just a quick follow up on this, the customer decided um, we had, I had suggested doing all three coils on the um, Bank 1. That's firewall side because we had to remove the intake. Um, it's fixed, but um, I I realized why you asked me and you wanted to have that amperage uh, waveform up. Um, it's very difficult to get to those back coils. And I know that Pat from Voltage Drop Diagnostics, and if you guys are watching, you should check his channel out, pretty sweet, um, had, done, had shown this. But <clears throat> you can go in your fuse box there's a 20 amp fuse in there and you can put a fuse jumper in there and r run your amp clamp around there to get all the coils. Well, the problem is, and I don't know if Keith is just checking on me or whatever, but I don't have one for that size fuse. It's like a, one of those, you know, mini, mini fuses. Um, I don't have the capability to get in there. Um, so I got to buy some tool. I, you know, I got to upgrade um, on some of my test equipment. So thank you, Keith, for pointing that out to me. But I do want to show you guys at least so you can see what it, um, what I'm what these guys were talking about that and for you Keith because I said I'd get you one it's not gonna be on the one you want but anyways it's it's on a cylinder I'm on cylinder six now I've got my IG um, my IGT timing signal for cylinder six up I've got my IGF um, signal up for that uh, cylinder six and I've also got an amperage waveform coming off that coil and it just for demonstration purposes and whatever um, I know it's not ideal guys but this is the best I can do with what I have so I'm gonna get you out there hold on one second All right, you can see I've got that amperage waveform on cylinder 6 tied in there's the amperage right there um, if we want to here blue trace here is our timing signal and then the green trace is our um, IG uh, feedback signal for all the coils. Pat had told me that from uh, Voltage Drop Diagnostics that I can get that from any coil and be able to um, identify cylinders. So if you look, I'm on cylinder six. Uh, firing order on this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six, one. This is the one we repaired, and you can see it's not dropping out anymore, the green trace. So six, one, two, see I'd have to zoom out if I want to see the other ones six one two three and so on and so forth pretty cool there you go Keith got it for you if I wanted to zoom in on this stupid snap-on I have to change my time base let's see here time base two milliseconds there you go, you can see our current ramp. Bring her over here. You know, maybe we gotta come out just a little bit. So five milliseconds. There you go, turn on oscillation. Not really all that present, but there is something there. It is running fine. Like I said, we only did the back coils on bank one. And the only reason I suggested that is because that had to come, that upper intake has to come off. And the customer decided to go ahead and do that. We did the back plugs. I did the front plugs. We're done. Just wanted to show you that. So, any questions, drop them down. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Quick follow up. This car's fixed. I'm shipping it. Take care, Keith. And uh, Pat from Voltage Drop Diagnostics, thanks for the tips, man. And uh, take care, guys.